Okay, hello everyone, and welcome to the closing session of the Yali 10 Summit before we move on to our exciting Yali Creatives Entertainment. Um, without further ado, it is my pleasure to introduce to you Robert Godek, the Acting Assistant Secretary for the Bureau of African Affairs. He previously served as Principal Deputy Assistant Secretary and Deputy Assistant Secretary in the Bureau as well. And prior to these assignments, Ambassador Godek previously served as U.S. Ambassador to Kenya and is Acting Deputy Chief of Mission and Minister Consular for Economic Affairs at the U.S. Embassy in Pretoria. Ambassador Godek, over to you. Liz, thank you very much. Uh, good day, everybody. Uh, thank you very, very much for having me here with you today. It really is an honor to be part of this celebration of the 10th anniversary of YALI, which I really think um, has been just such an extraordinary institution, organization, um, and uh, has accomplished some amazing things. I am um, deeply inspired by the energy and commitment to African youth that um, we've seen over the years, certainly, but at this summit in particular. And I want to say a thank you to the Department of State's co-host at the Woodrow Wilson International Center for Scholars, as well as the members of the YALI Advisory Committee who helped to shape and really implement this event. Uh, Dr. Monde Muyangwa, uh, director of the Wilson Center's Africa program, her team, the advisory committee, all did just an outstanding job to create this dynamic virtual opportunity to celebrate 10 years of YALI. I also want to recognize the numerous YALI supporters that have partnered with the U.S. government over the years to support young African leaders. These include IREX and our Leadership Institute partners who support the Mandela Washington Fellowship Program and the U.S. African Development Foundation, USAID's partners at the MasterCard Foundation, Dow Chemical, Microsoft, Hewlett Packard, City, Trevor Noah Foundation, and Power Africa, and of course our four partner institutions who support and implement YALI and the regional leadership centers on the continent. Because of all of your uh, years of partnership, this uh, program, YALI, is a success and it continues to grow. Now, speaking um, with groups like the one today, like audiences like you, all of you, at events like this, um, it really, frankly, is one of the very best um, parts of my job. Throughout uh, my career, um, I've developed a deep and abiding love and affinity for the peoples and the countries of Africa, for African culture, for all that the continent uh, is and is becoming. Um, and one of the greatest things, I think, that Africa has going for it is its youth. As I speak with you um, today, in some ways I'm coming back full circle. During my time as ambassador in Kenya, I remember seeing the Nairobi Regional Leadership Center first cohort walk into the center and the eager faces of 78 young African leaders from across the region ready to embark on a journey to sharpen their leadership skills. I also had many opportunities to meet with uh, YALI scholars um, on other occasions across my many years in Kenya. And every time I was just so impressed, so deeply impressed by the extraordinary creativity, the energy, the enthusiasm, and many other kind of wonderful attributes that all of these uh, young Africans uh, demonstrated. So here we are today with more than 24,000 Mandela Washington Fellowship and Regional Leadership Center alumni and more than 700,000 network members. That is impressive. And I just wanna say uh, congratulations to all of you for being part of this, for joining uh, and taking part in this extraordinary YALI uh, network and all of the uh, opportunities that it has created. What an incredible week it's been. I'm inspired as I reflect on the many conversations and opportunities to engage over the past several days. I know we started the week by uh, recognizing the growth of YALI over the past 10 years. This movement started in 2010, 
with a vision for an enduring partnership between the United States and Africa through engaging and supporting young African leaders. And what was just a small vision, a seed at the beginning, now it really has taken root and it's grown and it's become an extraordinary and just vibrant tree um, that has reached far beyond uh, what I think even those of us at the beginning hoped was possible. Hearing from US leaders and congressional representatives underscores the deep bipartisan support that continues for YALI within the United States. And I want to affirm to you that the Biden-Harris administration is honored and deeply committed to advancing YALI, to scaling it up, to taking it to new heights, to new levels, to really fully realize its potential and its impact. On Tuesday, of course, USAID's Travis Atkins and Ahuna Zia Konwa, the Assistant Administrator and Director of the Regional Bureau for Africa at the United Nations Development Program, addressed the transformative power, innovation, and resilience of African youth. As young people face the many challenges in their quest to grow and thrive, leadership programs like YALI create new opportunities, open dialogues, and offer safe spaces for young people to prosper. Young Africans are tackling problems, tough problems, with new and cutting edge solutions. I really believe that youth, as I said earlier, are, are one of Africa's greatest, most powerful assets. And I am committed, and this administration is committed to investing in you, to helping give you further opportunities to take the continent forward and to take the U.S.-Africa partnership forward. Wednesday's discussions on servant leadership with Ambassador Linda Thomas-Greenfield and Benga Ogunbowale, uh, a 2018 Regional Leadership Center alumnus, 2019 Mandela Washington Fellow, an award-winning social entrepreneur in Nigeria, and Elizabeth Kasujo, uh, Kasuja, excuse me, a 2017 Mandela Washington Fellow and mental health advocate from Uganda, reminded us how YALI has become a movement for positive change and inclusive leadership grounded in service. We know that empowering people is critical because stable democratic nations depend on committed, informed, and capable citizens. Young citizens like you, who take on leadership roles at the national, regional, and local levels, where servant leadership forms a foundation for strong, resilient societies. Young leaders like you, who creatively tackle critical issues, demand government accountability, and ask tough questions. YALI alumni are dedicated leaders and the continent's change makers. You have a big responsibility, but I know you're going to succeed. The importance of U.S.-Africa relations was underscored in Thursday's sessions, where the United States' commitment to prosperous, peaceful, and democratic Africa was reaffirmed. The United States partners with African countries in pursuit of our shared interests and values, from security and global health, access to education and climate change, to freedom, democracy, to shared prosperity, including those individuals who historically have been marginalized. We continue to put youth at the forefront of these priorities to drive change across the continent. Throughout the week, you also participated in a variety of breakout sessions to address some of the most timely and relevant topics for Africa today. These topics include how to leverage trade to advance US and Africa business goals, ways to mitigate climate change, ideas to address the COVID-19 pandemic, efforts to build sustainable civil society organizations, and the power of citizen voices in African development. Your efforts and conversations on these topics are helping to facilitate growth and prosperity, not just in your communities, but across African nations and across the world. We must work together to harness the youth, the talent, the creativity of all of Africa's youth, and I ask you to channel your collective strength and continue these conversations long after this important summit. That brings us to today, as we look to the future and imagine an expanded vision and potential of what YALI can become in the years ahead. 
the U.S. government is committed to working with you on designing and building that future. To that end, we welcome the ideas presented by Acting Deputy Assistant Secretary Jackson Ferrier and the Yale alumni speakers. I took note of your ideas on how Yale can continue to catalyze a transformational youth movement in the farthest corners of the continent. Looking ahead, the United States will continue to harness the power of the Yale movement to deepen and grow youth leadership and professional development. Yale's Mandela Washington Fellowship uh, Exchange Program, the regional leadership centers, and the digital Yale network community will continue to provide leadership training and online resources. And the Department of State will expand opportunities for Yale alumni. As Secretary Blinken noted during his virtual YALI engagement last month, YALI is the perfect demonstration that we're not just talking about leaders of tomorrow, we're talking about the leaders of today. And what each of you is doing in your lives, with your lives, is leadership, and it's inspiring to people in ways you can't even imagine. It's that kind of example, that kind of inspiration, and that kind of engagement that it is what progress is all about. Collectively, you, Africa's young people, have made YALI into the huge success it is today with your passion, your commitment to helping others follow in your footsteps. This really is about you. I am grateful to everyone, all of the partners, and everybody who's helped to what, make YALI work to some degree. But it is you who have made it. It is you who have really given it form, given it life, given it energy, given it power. You are the future of Yali, but even more importantly, you are the future of Africa. I very much look forward to a thriving future for the Young African Leaders Initiative further growth and greater dynamism, the African nations. And I look forward to supporting you as the leaders and the role models for all of us. I wish you every success in your careers and in your lives. And I want you to know that as you go forward, YALI is an institution, the US government, the American people, our country, we're with you. We believe in the future that you are building for Africa. We believe that U.S.-Africa relations are going to get ever stronger and ever better. And we thank you very much for everything you are doing, for your partnership, for your friendship, for your work, and everything that you're doing. Thank you very much. Thank you again for the opportunity to be with you today. Thank you, Ambassador. We really appreciate those words. And it's lovely to hear how Yali has touched you throughout your career as well. Um, and that commitment from the United States to Yali, to Africa's youth, means so much. It truly does. Um, one of the takeaways that we talked about in the earlier sessions is that Yali is not just a program, it's a movement. And Yali youth are are the leaders of not just Africa, the future leaders of the world. Um, so thank you so much. That's absolutely true, Liz. You could not have said it better. Um, these are the leaders of the future, not just of Africa, but of the world. So thank you. Thank you. Thank Good you. luck with the rest of today. OK, thank you. And without further ado, I know everyone is super excited about the entertainment we have planned for you. Um, Yali excels in all things, right? We have entrepreneurs, we have Nobel Peace Prize nominee, uh, civil society leaders, mm -hmm. cabinet member, government leaders, members of parliament, but we also have some amazing entertainers. Uh, so I am super excited. Please join the next session momentarily. We got B Flow, a 2015 fellow from Zambia. Douglas Oguto, a RLC and 2021 fellow from Kenya. Grace Jerry, a 2015 from, fellow from Nigeria. Mark Kowisi, a 2016 fellow from Uganda. 
Nde Fatou Jabong, a 2019 fellow from the Gambia. And last but certainly not least, Lamborghini, a, an ROC alumnus from Nigeria. So please stay tuned and join us for the celebration ahead. Thank you. Hey, Liz. Hey. All right, we did it. <laughs>